Hi guys, welcome to Volt's tutorial. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do nuclear power by using the fusion and the fission reactor. Uh, in the past, I have done two other tutorials of the missiles and also power and assembly line. So let's say so. I've got so the village is still under attack by the village. What the rest over there? You can just about see it. We still got the house with the bunker and the missile launchers still ready to prime just in case we need to launch an all-out attack we still got them sorting out you know all of their supplies coming in now they now they need a definite source of power so they've given us the task of building us two nuclear generators the first one here we have got a fission reactor this is the most uh, common or in real life of nuclear generators so uh, basically uh, what, how it works is inside we've got a fission reactor just in here and that, that heats up the water that sits around causes steam to come up through the turbines now let's go on to building one of these what you'll need is put a fission in the middle now you can build it however you like I'm going to keep the grass and do it like this so, so we've got a nice bit of glass. Now, if you do now, a little tip, you can get control rods. So let me get some sticky pistons, and I'll actually I'll leave that one in. And if you go back here, this uh, thing's under here in atomic science. So then you click up one of these control rods. It basically looks like an iron block post sort of thing. And you dig two down and stick inside. Um, only one. Be helpful if you're only doing a small one. Don't think you really need any more. Okay, let me just get a little redstone input. So to the back, let's put that in. It's getting dark already. Wow. Right here. Um, then to help fuel this, we'll start filling up with water. So you need to put water all around uh, to keep it uh, pr to keep it cool and stop it from blowing up. I don't know if these actually do blow up, but yeah, so, right, once it's all done, I'll go through the crafting recipes for all the items you'll need in this mod pack. So, right, that's all pretty much set up and ready to go, just minus the reactor turbines. So let me stick those on the top. I'm using blast proof glass because not only does it look nice but it looks it, instead of normal glass it's got this nice little you know grey rim what makes it look pretty pretty sturdy and like cool okay now we can have these uh, so if you put nine turbines together uh, it's not very efficient because you've got massive gaps in the middle so I'm going to teach you how to make oh, okay yeah, I'm going to teach you how to make it uh, go into one massive turbine, which is, looks really cool. Okay, you may have noticed I'm wearing a little hazmat suit. Uh, this is in the mod as well. You need to wear one of these if you're in survival, because it stops you from getting radiation poisoning. So, they have really thought of everything. So, you need to come up and get the... Uh, where is it? There it is. The wrench. A oh, good old trusty wrench. And you just right-click on it once. And it boom! Makes a nice little, well, little, massive, great big fan. Well, it's pretty cool. Right, and then you just literally get some cable off it. And you have that uh, going into a battery box. Like so. And all you do to start it up, oh, hello. And all you do to start it up is you need to somehow get inside hmm okay. outside edge say hello to the reactor over there right so then you need to come into uh, here and you need to make some uranium rods and you put them inside like a chow and that will have started the whole generator And you can see it's starting to turn inside and producing. Oh, there goes there goes the turbine. Of 
quite loud things and they're starting to produce electricity. So you can make these massive and huge and it'll look really, really cool. So let's get on to some of the, um, the crafting recipes. So to make the actual fission reactor, you it's quite expensive. You need four motors, two advanced circuits and two steel plates. Um, to make um, the glass proof glass which I used, uh, it doesn't have a recipe. That's really annoying. Oh well. Um, uh, to make the uh, reactor turbines, you need four bronze plates and one motor. It's very nice and cheap. Uh, uranium? Yeah, you need four uranium. Uh, yeah. To make one uranium rod. So three uranium. So and that makes one nice little generator. Nuclear generator. Um, yeah, and that, that, that goes on with the you know, uranium doesn't, you know, I don't know, lose its half life and things like that. But yeah, it produces quite a lot of electricity. Sweet, so that's the fission reactor. Let's move on to the fusion reactor. Now, this, I think they're still in development of it in real life. I'm not too sure. Someone please write in a comment if you know any more on that. I do. To make this, you dump one of these in the middle uh, of anywhere. Then you need an electromagnet. Stick it around the outside. Like that. Now, then, a bit like if you were going to make a, um, a particle accelerator, which I'll be going over in the next tutorial, uh, you need to make a nice little hollow rim around the outside. Now, how efficient, uh, sorry, how a fusion reactor works is it creates uh, plasma around here that's basically superheated gas and that heats up water what is suspended around the outside of the electromagnets and then you, the heated water you basically use that to um, get your electricity off so yeah, it's great, great, great. Uh, then this, you can use anything on the floor. Actually, I'm going to stick a couple electromagnets on the floor because I don't really need it looking pretty. It's getting dark already again. Damn. There you go. Ah, oh, I didn't know I did that. Sweet, I can set it to day constant. Perfect. Right, and then I'm going to get some electromagnetic glass, which is basically an electromagnet but with a glass texture. So you can see through it, and it looks a very, very nice. Sweet. So that's all that. That's your basic setup. Now, it's around the outside, so if I let me, let me just get, dump these back in here for a quickie. Uh, I'm going to get some of this stuff, so I'm going to get some blast proof walling, just because it looks nice. Whole outside, like like that, just like that. Now, if you cut fill in the edges, like that, and then fill in the back piece, it's looking something very. It, I do like the look of this one. This is very nice. Now, that looks very nice. Uh, it's a lot bigger than the previous reactor. Uh, how's that done? How is it sent up to one, one joule or one mega joule? Uh, and then, yes, this you need to fill this bit of water. Like, like that. And then you get your turbines. And you place them around the edge like this. Over the outside edge. Like that. Sweet. And one more. And that's that. Now. We could start this straight away, but there's two things what we're missing. For some reason, with one of these, 
is you need an input energy. Now, can you see that you cannot connect it to the top of the fusion reactor? The fusion, sorry. You have to connect it underneath. So it has to have an input energy to make it start up. Which, if it's a power, okay, I don't understand it. If anyone's a nuclear physicist, uh, please comment below on why you need to make, why to produce power you need to make, you need power. To me, that seems tired. But anyway, uh, so, little quick input, starts it spinning. Um, okay, little, it's a little physics, um, well, sorry, a physics class. To, uh, how a fusion reactor works is it creates a plasma, which heats up water. Now, how it heats up, how it makes the plasma is by using heavy water. And you can make that on this really simply. Uh, you get this stuff called deuterium. And that is basically water gone through. Uh, God, where is it? I can't find it. There you go. Deuterium extractor. So let me stick one of these down. Hello. Uh, let me stick one of these down. Next to the power. So that's what makes up. Now it goes to get a bucket of water. Stick it in there. And use that water. It goes through. This and this reactor does take quite a lot of it. It uses up one one bar, one rod, or whatever it is, per minute. So just to save time, I'm gonna spawn in a few stacks and stuff. And what you do is you just stick it right in the middle. Now watch this outside edge when I stick it in. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know why the fire is a good thing. It's heating up. So, that's got the turbines like spinning and spewing. It's going to be insulated high voltage wire. fusion and the fission reactor in the nutshell. Um, I'll be coming back to this again. I uh, don't know if that fire is a good thing, but I just think it's just heating up quite a lot. It. But yeah, um, please remember to subscribe, like, like uh, add, add us on Facebook for Blue Coconut Family. Uh, and also if you like the Vault's uh, mod pack, please remember to check out our other, um, uh, our other series of Tech Adventure. Uh, so yeah, 
I'll see you again next time when we go on to do the particle accelerator. See ya!